Hello, loopers. Welcome back. I'm Emily McVicker. Every little bit counts, and you've got what it takes. So I'm a singer, a live looper, and a songwriter. So I wanted to show you how I use loops to perform my original music. If you enjoy videos like this and talking gear and loops and hanging out with me, please like and subscribe to this video. Hope you like cats. Cleo! If you like my videos or maybe you just like hanging out with me, I hope that you click the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment below. Just say hi. Oh no, just say hi. Hi! This is an episode of Breaking It Down. This is a series where I pick a song and I break apart the individual components of that song and show you how I would reproduce it and build it back up using a loop station. This is Boss's RC300 model and the new RC600 is going to be out sometime next year. Using loops for your original music can kind of help fill out the arrangement. It can help your tune stand out, or perhaps you're filling in for some band members that you normally would have had on your, a recording. My original tune that I'm going to play for you today is called Little Things. The message behind the song is how little things in life can make a big impact. Cleo, I know that you make a big impact. You little menace. I love you so much. <laughs> okay, bye. And just like my song, I'm gonna make a few simple loops to make this song awesome. On this Boss RC300 loop station, I'm working with three tracks. So I can put different instruments on each track that will kind of help me distinguish each section from one another. These loops are gonna beef up the arrangement while I play the uke and sing the melody live. So here's how I like to map out my loops. Track one, I'm gonna put a beatbox and some ukulele scratches. On track two, I'm gonna put the chorus background vocals. Ayo, ayo, ayo. And in track three, I'll put a shaker. This is a standard template that I like to use for many songs with a percussion on track one and on track three. Percussions don't have to be very long. So my track one and track three, I'm gonna preset them to two bars. And I leave track two set to auto because sometimes you want a track that has a longer amount of time on it. In this track, they're actually all gonna be the same length of time, but that's still how I like to do it. Sometimes people ask me if I have a click track in my ear. And no, I don't. My first track is gonna establish the tempo for this song and ultimately be a sort of a measuring stick for the other subsequent tracks. And when you record track two, it's variable. So once again, it's taking time cues from your foot. You have to play it like an instrument. It's so important to hit the record button squarely on beat one. You hit it on beat one to start it and beat one again to bookend it. That's how your machine is gonna know how long to make the loop. It does take some practice, but by the time you hit the record button for the second time to complete the loop, they should match up very nicely so that it feels continuous. And then the hard part's done. Then you can just overdub, layer on top, stack it like a cake. Watch me do it in real time, my original tune, Little Things. One, two, oh, one, two. <laughs> Your choices make a difference through the course of your life. 
Little things can change the world, so can you and I. so much for watching. I'm Emily McVicker. If you like my original music, I have links to my Bandcamp and Spotify and other streaming platforms down below in the description. I stream live on Twitch Sundays, Tuesdays, and Fridays, twitch.tv slash Emily McVicker. And I have affiliate links for all the gear I'm using in case you'd like to check it out. Put your song requests and questions down below in the comments. And I'll catch you on the next one. Keep your loops funky. Bye! Imagine the world and the choices you make Every little bit counts and you've got what it takes So even if you feel kind a little sometimes Your choices make a difference through the course of your life Little things can change the world, so can you and I